The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. There's the whistle. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Alexis Sanchez. He's... Well, that's clear cut. It's a free kick. There's an early warning shot across the bow. And it's hoisted clear. It's gone out for a throw in. Interesting ball. This is what good chemistry is all about. Isla sends it forward. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Going to be disappointed with that. And it's Isla. They get a throw in. Arangis. That is lovely. Clears it out of harm's way. Move forward and quickly so. Andre Carrillo, Andre Carrillo goes on a run down the left wing. Yeah, Peter, just have a look at this and see how the strikers are, are drifting into wide positions now. And that's tactical, is it? It's not been forced on them. No, it's all related to the hope of creating space for midfield runners. Andre Carrillo. Has a shot! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Sanchez is hiring after that one. Andre Carrillo. Oh, it's come loose. And they're back on the ball again. Alexis Sanchez played out to the right. In comes the delivery. Galisi has that under control. So it is still nil-nil. Back into the middle. Vidal. Now it's Sanchez. Out to the right. Played into the box. Chile really are making good use of that right-hand side. The light is very much the colour green. Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum and, and they look set to further exploit. Really aren't convincing right now. It has to start in defence, but the whole team needs a wake-up call. Oh, nice touch.
Now here's the delivery. That was always going to be the keepers. Alexis Sanchez and the shot! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Cayenne's shifted upfield. Now that's well seen too. La Patula! Played forward. Isla. Lovely feet. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Looking to hit the front line. And that has been cleared. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Gets his pass away. Oh, it's opened up for him. Smoothly does it. Out of play for a throw. Oh, sweet feet. And we've reached half time. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Peru playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Cayenne's, and it's Carrillo, gently done. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Alexis Sanchez, shot a goal! Advincula attempts it. And he ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Moved on forwards. Tries to get it clear. And it's Vidal. Driven forward. Knocks it away. It's run loose here. And it's Lapadula. Maripan does really well to win the ball there. Forwards and with intent. Oh, that's a key interception. So we've reached the hour mark. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Great work on the overlap. Carrillo. Great ball, and can he finish? He's got a goal! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defense and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late
Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Peru take the lead. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. And it's Carrillo. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Fiddles it through. He can run onto that. And it's played forward. Good read, needed to be. Played out to the left flank. Time and again, they are repelled. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to make... Great chance! Good movement there, but not the best of finishes. Look, the defending wasn't too clever on that last chance. The cross had to be denied. Isla. Abram is there and he can get that clear. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. And the score is 1-0. Oh, the referee's booking him here for a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. And just to confirm that the referee did issue a yellow card for that earlier incident. Carrillo. Peru clearly have been instructed to kill this off. Offence is the best form of defence. Look, it's a, it's a run defences dislike, but the timing has to be spot on. And he's gone looking for safety. Oh, important interception. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Chile are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Peru clearly now in lead preservation mode. They're avoiding the blatantly obvious by not getting the ball into the opposition box. That's where it has to be. And here's Vidal. Chile need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. And here's Lapadula. Picked out Brooks into stoppage time, whistle due any moment. And there goes the final whistle.